denominators and you get what you require. It may be a bit more complex, but then you are sure. Simplify this. So we also learned, yeah, in Form 1 or Form 2, how to expand and gather like terms together. So to do this, what we do is we take 3, we multiply by x, we get 3x, we take 3, we multiply by minus 2y, 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 and the y, so minus 6y. This minus here, it's good to always have your brackets, put the minus. If we keep minus outside, then we have to take only positive 4 inside. Otherwise, we change it to plus and you take minus 4. So let's keep the minus and take positive 4. So we take the plus 4 and I multiply that. Plus 4 and I multiply that. So 4 times x is 4x. 4 times minus 5y is minus 20y. So if we try to fix this, just open up 3x minus 6y. This minus can now go inside minus 1 times 4x is minus 4x. Minus 1 times minus 20y is plus 20y. Now we try to gather the like terms together, the y's together and the x's together. So I have 3x there minus 4x minus 6y plus 20y 3x minus 4x is minus x minus 6y plus 20y is 14y to write it neatly write it that way question number three it says make b the subject of the formula a is equal to half B multiplied by H. So A is equal to half B multiplied by H. So here A is the subject of this formula. They would want us to make B the subject of the formula, which means we are expected to get a new equation that says B is equal to something else. In order to do that, we have to make sure that we play with our mathematics and leave B alone. So two is here below. So if I multiply this side by 2 and multiply this side by 2 because it's an equation. So if you do something to the left, you must do also to the right. So then this would say this is 2 times A is equal to 1 over 2. Let me say 2 times 2 times 1 all over 2 B H. This 2 goes off with that. And I get a 2A is equal to B H. I'm expected to keep only B. So H here has to go. H was multiplied here. So I will try to divide both sides. That means 2A divided by H is equal to B. H divided by H. This H goes off with that. And this is B. So B is equal to 2A divided by H. So B is now the subject of that formula. The last one says simplify the expression t squared minus 16 divided by 2t plus 8. Here we have to look at possible factors that we can get out of this. So let's say t squared minus 16 divided by 2t plus 8. If you look at this very well, t squared minus 16 is like t squared minus t squared minus 4 squared all over 2 is common here and 2 is common also here in 8 so I can put the 2 outside and I write this as t plus 4 that means if I open this again 2 times t is 2t and 2 times 4 is 8 so I will come back here so it's good it's the same we have to recognize something here above we call this the difference of two squares let's see an example a Let's say we have here x minus a multiplied by x plus a. If we open this out, x times x is x squared. x times a is plus ax. Minus a times x is minus ax. Minus a times a is minus a squared. You see the middle disappear. And we have x squared minus a squared. 
So it means we can move from here backwards. If we do that, then this is going to be t plus 4 times t minus 4 divided by 2, t plus 4. And you notice that there's t plus 4 here and there's t plus 4 there. So this becomes t minus 4 divided by 2. So that was it. I hope you liked it. And if you did, give us some thumbs up. And most especially, 